Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am here with what I melted over the last week or so. If you hear a bunch of noise in the background, my washing machine is literally right behind that wall. So therefore, I don't know why I bother recording when it's going, but I did. So this week I have actually um, come on, what, about 10 days after my last video, which is super exciting. Typically I'm doing the whole two week thing. So I'm trying to get more on a weekly basis like I used to be. And as usual, I will start with the things I did not finish. I will end with the things I did finish. So I am holding pretty strong on my wax band. I did order a few things from L3 this past week. I mean, a few, like two loaves and like five scoops. Not a lot compared to what I usually haul from her. So I am resetting my, my ticker for my wax band as of last Friday. Um, I did kind of say that I wasn't going to order from anybody, but I have made, me and my friend Frankie have kind of made a decision that although we're going on a low buy slash no buy, um, we are going to order from VCS because she made an announcement at the beginning of this year that she is going to be downsizing her productivity greatly. I don't know if you guys remember two, three years ago. Um, she had Hunger Games restocks. If you weren't on right at restock time, you did not get anything. And so, um, I don't know if it's going to go back to that, but it's definitely going to be harder to get your favorites unless she does pre-orders, which she may do pre-orders too. So, <laughs> I have decided, because she is one of my favorite vendors, that I will order from her for the rest of this year because things are going to get really slow next year. Um, she's moving her workshop back into her house like in her garage I think and I just don't I don't think things are going to be as easy to get as they have been most of you who have been in a wax community for a few years know exactly what I'm talking about where literally if the restock was 9 a.m by 905 most of the website was cleared out I mean it was ridiculous and you'd have stuff sh jump from your cart it was bad <laughs> so I decided, and Frankie was talking about it too, we decided that we were going to kind of lay low on buying from other vendors, but buy from her because things are going to get really tough to get. And she does have a lot of my favorites. So I am going to order from her. I am occasionally going to order from a couple of other vendors depending on what they have available. I do have a list of Super Tarts and Sasago Aroma that I need and Rose Girls I need, you know, on hand at all times. If I get low, I will re I will rebuy those. I'm not going to buy willy nilly like I had been. I would just be like, oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. And I'd, I'd buy everything. So I'm not going to do that anymore. All right. So before I ramble for 20 minutes, because y'all know I'm good at that. The first thing that I have here is Kokomo from Rose Girls. This is vanilla ice cream rainbow, excuse me, sherbet and salt water taffy. This is from 814 of 17. This is my very first order I ever ordered from her. And I've held on to it because I only melt this really in the summer. I am going to try to finish this up before I start on fall because I really don't want to hold it over till next summer. From Sasugar Roma, Pink Sugar Sleepy Time, Pink Sugar Lavender Spearmint Chamomile. Y'all know I love this scent. Um, this one just is not only a good sleeping scent but it's also a very calming scent. Um, this year somebody put out a meme and it was very just uh accurate as to how I feel so people who are empaths and people who feel a lot of things are really struggling this year this year has been really bad um I thought when Robert and I got together like my depression and my anxiety went way 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 down to next to nothing when he and I got together and the majority of this year it's been back up I thought damn you know am I not happy with anybody but it's not him it is just the situation with the world the situation at hand the having to wear a mask everywhere we go in public gives me anxiety um I don't like having my my mouth and nose covered like that it brings back almost like PTSD type situations for me I don't like it um you know I have to go out I have to get my ch children food I have to get us food I have to get the cats food I have to get you know, household essentials that I can't just order on Amazon. Um, my grocery stores do not do very well picking things out for like grocery pickup. So I don't do those. I would rather get the things myself, like my produce. So I know, I know it has to be done. It's necessary evil. Like I had to go to the eye doctor and they made you wear the mask the entire time. So I was there for two hours with a mask on and I was just sitting there in anxious mess. 
Um, so anyways, so this has really been helping me a lot with like anxiety and whatnot. Just the feelings of what's going on in the world makes somebody exhausted. Um, I am an empath. I feel a lot of things and I am just exhausted mentally. So I have like, I've been doing my schooling, but I haven't done my best just because I haven't, I've been exhausted mentally and emotionally. So this has really helped me. So I put this on about every other night or every couple nights. I have been trying to not melt it as often because I do have a lot of other bedroom scents from other vendors to melt through. So I've really been trying to only do this about twice a week to try to get through the other stuff. I do have two more full loaves of this plus this. I will pick up two more loaves the next time it's offered in uh, pre-order because this is a favorite. So again, when I say I'm going on a no-buy, I mean, except for these, these type of scents that keep me going. All right, from Super Tarts, I did some data. And data is lavender cream, pear slices, and sugar cookies. I love this scent. It is really good. So the pear kind of gives it to me kind of like a perfumey type scent. And then the lavender cream and sugar cookies kind of just make it a creamy lavender. I love this scent. I do have this much left. I will pick up another BAM bag when it's offered again. From Closet Full of Wax, I did some Pear April Fresh down, Downy. I have one of these little, whatever those are called, left. This one smelled really good. It's funny because when Robert got home from work yesterday, he said it smelled like peaches and cream oatmeal and it really did <laughs> i don't know why i think the downy kind of wore off by that point because i put it on in the morning and he got home in the afternoon but you could smell that pear um her stuff does very well for me when i start buying again i will definitely order from her i've got a lot of things i have melted recently and i've not had a bad throw from anything all right from pens woods i tried bedtime baby this is a soothing bedtime blend of mandarin, lavender, chamomile, and the Rolly Lily of the Valley. This is really good. I did two of these because I figured the it's two and a half ounces for the whole bag. And there was, there was seven of them in there. So I thought, okay, two would equal close to what I melt typically at once. So I did. It was good. It was a pretty good throw. Um, I am going to let it cure a little bit longer. It does say best after 716, but it wasn't as strong as maybe it could be. So I am going to let it sit for just a little while. All right, Sassy Girl Aroma Mango Butter. This is kind of, it's kind of on the light side. I do have another one of this. It does better in my bathroom. So for me, it does better in a small space. So I do have two cubes left. I think I have a whole nother, no, I don't. I don't have another clam of this. It's the clam of Honey Pear Cider. I have two of those. Okay, so this is the end of this mango butter, which is fine. I just do it this week in the bathroom and finish it off. All right, these are empties. I need to go over here. All right, from Zape, I had gotten this as an extra in a D-stash. This is called La La Land. It is clean linen lavender in dew drops. So I had, when I got this, I had two cubes. So I did one in my bedroom the other day. There's one cube left. This was amazing. So this is one I would definitely repurchase. I did not have very good luck with Zape in the other house. However, I have gotten pretty good performance from what I melted in this house. So I may order from her again. This was really good. It was kind of like a linen lavender type scent. You got that dew drops, like a rainy type scent. It was really good. I would definitely repurchase that. From Southbound, I did some more of this dream cake. This is orange creamsicle <clears throat> birthday cake topped with lavender whipped cream. Robert and I both really like this. This is one I would pick up in a loaf if it's offered or a couple of the bakery bags. Um, I will keep an eye out on pre-orders for this. This is one that I would stock up on on a heartbeat. This was a bakery bag. I dropped the entire bakery bag in Luna's water dish and had to rebag the whole thing. So that's why it's in this massive bag. Um, this is really good. A very nice lavender orange creamsicle. And you definitely got a hint of the birthday cake. I can still smell it the next morning, which is why I gravitate towards those scents the most. <laughs> this is pathetic, but <laughs> I did some lemon summer breeze from Rose Girls. I have one left. I don't know why <laughs> I didn't just finish it off. So this will be on my radar to finish this coming week. This is an amazing lemon laundry blend. Performs very well. I do have two more bags of that I picked up recently. <clears throat> All right. And then I have What Dreams May Come. This is Liana's Lullaby, which is a... Lavender chamomile, I believe, mixed with spring breeze, which is that um, laundry scent. This is an amazing scent. I really love it. It just performs very well for me. I do have some more pink chiffon ocean breeze shaving cream. I have one chunk left. I'll focus on finishing this up this coming week as well. 
Um, so I'll have quite a bit of empties next week also. Um, this is really good. I really enjoy this scent. It's one that I would pick up if it's ever offered again. And the last thing I did not finish is blackberry Flintstones and co coconut cream pie. I just get like a blackberry with like a fruity pebble. It's a really good scent. Very nice and fruity. So um, that's got quite a bit left. So I know I won't finish that, but I'll have quite a bit of empties next week. because I'm going to focus on these ones that only have a couple. So now on to my empties for the week. This I got as a freebie in a D stash cosmic cleanse set fire to the rain pink sugar shaving cream and le leather so look at the date for <laughs> 429 of 17 so there was about this much like low about maybe a third left so i cut it in half i did half in my living room half in my bathroom this sucker threw all day I got an absolute amazing throw from this. Being three years old, I've never melted Cosmic Cleanse before. This did amazing and it was good. I, I, I'm afraid of leather sometimes because it be, can, can be too manly and give me a headache, but this was amazing. I finished this clamshell of Chim Chim Cherry from Gypsy Monroe. This was pretty much useless. Like I could smell it for like an hour and then it was gone. It was really good while I could smell it, but you know, I don't like to have my wax last that little. Although I have a lot of wax, I like to enjoy it for a few hours. <clears throat> from Rose Girls, Sleeping on Lavender Clouds. This was a little chunk. I melted this, I really enjoyed that one. It was a really good bedtime scent. From Closet Full of Wax. I had this fruit brute, which is frosted fruit flavored cereal, frosted cherry with frosted cherry flavored cereal with marshmallows. I did this in the bedroom the other day. It was a really good fruity cereal scent. I really enjoyed that. Performed very well. All of the closet full of wax that I have here have given me an amazing performance. Unicorn sprinkles, same thing. It's a cotton candy, rainbow candy, sugar loving unicorn kisses. I did that in the bedroom. Really, really good. Duck hunt. I did this in the kitchen orange pineapple strawberry vanilla milkshake again amazing throw lasted all day and then pineapple island fresh gain from closet full of wax this one was really good also it was a fruity laundry blend um i'm not as much of a fan of pineapple but it still performed very very well this did not do anything for me and then the last thing is I finally finished this loaf of Disneyland from Sassy Girl. This is from 2018. I do have a full loaf that I just got yesterday from the latest pre-order. So I can start working on that um, eventually <laughs> when I let it cure. I do have a lot of older um, fruity type scents to get through first. But this was amazing. Still performed very well despite being almost two years old. All right, so that is everything. So I did get through quite a bit. I will have more empties next week. I'm going to focus on all of these little things that have one or two melts left so i will hopefully try to come back maybe monday or tuesday and try to just say hey i was i was able to get on in a week so thanks for watching i'll talk to y'all later bye